For the following exercises, evaluate the algebraic expressions. If f of x equals x squared plus x minus 4, we need to evaluate f of 2i. So welcome to complex numbers. Basically what we're going to be dealing with in this playlist or throughout the playlist are imaginary numbers. So there's going to be a running theme here. When we see i, this is a imaginary number. Imaginary numbers, and I'll just put number, imaginary numbers don't exist. So there's real numbers such as 2, 3, 4, 5, 50,000, negative values. They're real as well. They exist. But some numbers are imaginary. They are not real. Hence, we can't actually give an actual number. We have to substitute it for i. So this playlist is going to be devoted to doing math with quote-unquote imaginary numbers. But the process, adding, subtracting, multiplying, is the exact same. So let's get down to business. We have a function f of x equals x squared plus x minus 4. And all we want to do is we just want to find out what f of 2i is. Well, if we look at these two things, it looks like in the first function, we have x being placed in. And now all we have to do is we just have to get rid of all of the x's and substitute for what they want. In this case, we have to turn all of the x's into two i's. So let's give it a shot. In the function, there was an x here. So I'm just going to substitute it and place a two i. But now the function told me that it had to be squared, so that has to stay. I'm moving on, plus, literally plus, now there's another x. So I can't put an x there. I got to put what they told me. I got to put a 2i here. And then I just keep going, minus 4. Now, some people would just, you know, box this off and say, hey, I did it. But we have to evaluate. We have to simplify. So let's do some math. If this whole thing is now... 2i squared plus 2i minus 4. This looks like we can simplify it, right? What is 2i squared? 2i squared just means that we have two 2i's. So I'm going to write it like that. I'm going to say that this really is 2i times 2i. I have two 2i's. How many 2's am I going to say here? <laughs> so that's what this is plus 2i minus 4. So what is 2i times 2i? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. And now how many i's do we have? Well, we have one here and we have one here, so that's i squared. So it would be 4i squared. And then we just continue on. So plus 2i, oop, there should be a squared here good catch, <laughs> and then minus 4. Okay, and remember that this all equals the f of 2i. So now students would say, hey, okay, we simplified it. I can't simplify it anymore. You know, maybe students might think that we can't simplify it anymore because I have an i squared, I have an i, and then a number. But we always like to just have i's at the end. So any other i value, i squared, i cubed, i to the fourth, i to the fifth, we always have to get it down to just i. So how do we do that? Well, here's the thing that we have to memorize. There's always got to be something, right? Just know that an i squared, if we see i squared, this always reverts back to being negative 1. An i squared actually has a number. 
So if I have two imaginaries multiplied by each other, because that's what I squared is, it's I times I. I times I, two imaginary numbers multiplied by itself, actually gives me a real number, a negative one. So I have to look for my function and see if I could substitute this idea so that I could get it out of, you know, I squared. And look, I do. I have an I squared right here. So instead of it being 4 times I squared, it's 4 times a negative 1. And then keep going, 2i minus 4. And now just clean up the math, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put this up here just so that we kind of can go down. 4 times a negative 1 is negative 4 plus 2i minus 4. And let's now group together common numbers. I have a negative 4, and I have a negative 4. So negative 4 minus 4 is a negative 8. So this would be negative 8 plus 2i. And that is your final answer. And this would equal f of 2i. Now, I just wanted to say something here, is that standard notation always has your real number in the front and then your imaginaries at the end. So if you said 2i minus 8, technically that would be incorrect. The real numbers have to come first and then your imaginaries at the end. Not bad. Let's do the next one. So let's see. If f of x equals x cubed minus 2, we need to evaluate just f of i. Okay, so once again, they give me a nice function, f of x equals x cubed minus 2. And now we want to solve for f of i, which means that for all the x values, I need to put in that i value. So let's, let's try it out. Okay, so I spot an x here, so all the x's are going to be what the function actually tells me to input, so I'm going to input a i, so now this would be an i cubed minus 2. Pretty simple enough. However, what did we say before, guys? Can we just leave it as an i cubed or i to the third? No. We have to always get it to just i. That's the most simple, simple, uh, simple form. So, hmm, how the, how the heck am I going to break down an i cubed? I have to think, okay, I know that an i squared, if we look in the upper left-hand corner, an i squared equals that negative 1. So, i squared times what would get me an i cubed, right? Because that's what we need. How many more i's do we need? I have two here. I'm trying to get three total. I need one more. So it would be i squared times i minus 2. This whole thing is the same thing as saying i cubed. So we could always break down bigger i numbers to get that i squared. And now look, I only have an i left because what do we know? We know that an i squared is the same thing as a negative 1. So it would be a negative 1 times i minus 2. You guys are getting it. Let's just simplify this. A negative 1 times i would be a negative i minus 2. And remember, this all equals that function f of i. But now, remember, standard notation, the number just has to come first and then the i. So we just have to you know, flop these. So I, uh, f of i equals, this was a negative 2, minus 2 is a negative 2, and then a negative i would be just saying minus i. And there we go. Look at that, guys. How simple is this? But the thing is, is that we have to memorize any time that we need to simplify i squared is just the same as a negative 1. So substitute, substitute, substitute. So guys, what do you think? The first question of the playlist is already down. This is going to be a fun chapter. This is going to be a fun playlist. We're just dealing with complex numbers. So if you're as excited as I am, let's do some more math. But first, 
If you can, please subscribe to the channel. That would help us out greatly. And like this video if it helped you, all right? But I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.